Hello, my buttercups, and welcome back to Sunflower Boo. I hope you stick around and enjoy. As you guys are probably aware of, it is nearing Christmas. So I am going to show you how to make a DIY Beanie Boo Christmas tree. Keep in mind that there is time marks in this video so you can skip around the different steps. We will be making a realistic Christmas tree with working ornaments and a little carpet to go under the tree. Step one, what the tree is actually gonna be made of. I got this from Michael's. And it's pretty much just an undecorated mini Christmas tree. And you may be thinking, Sunflower, this tree is massive and I can't fit it in any of my sets. What are you doing, Sunny? Well, I will explain all of that, don't you worry. We are going to cut it in half. Basically, if you just keep on watching the video, you will see what I mean. You can really do whatever size you want for the tree, but this is the size I'm doing. Step number two is to spread out the branches. They're a bit more even and full. To make it look more like a perfect Christmas tree, we are going to trim some of the branches. This branch definitely needs to go. You can just fiddle around with it until it looks good to you. What a mess. I'm pretty happy with how this looks. We need a base for this Christmas tree to stand up. For the base, I am using a foam sheet and I traced a circle slightly smaller than the bottom row of the tree. Now you'll want to cut it out. I'm cutting out two circles and then gluing them together. You'll want to use hot glue to glue it together. Once your base is all glued together, you will want to poke a hole in the middle using the wire at the bottom of the Christmas tree and then put hot glue in that hole and then stick the wire into the hole <laughs> but make sure not to poke the hole all the way through put a whole lot of glue on there so it doesn't fall off so we've got the two layer foam base and then we've got a whole lot of hot glue here in the bottom keeping the tree upright i'm just holding it while the hot glue fully dries to make sure that it stands upright and not crooked here is the base all finished but right now this tree needs some decoration so we are going to start on step number four operation decoration ornaments for the ornaments we are going to gather up some beads Sorry for the horrific lighting, but here are some beads I would like to use. Once you've chosen the beads you will want to use as ornaments, you'll want to get some wire. You'll want to get some wire for the handle so we can actually put these ornaments on the tree. Here is the wire, and here is the glue. Bend the wire into a candy cane shape. Add glue to the bottom of the handle. Now that you have done that, you'll need to wait for the glue to dry in. This is my tree so far, but I still need to make a couple more ornaments. Let's start on the rug underneath the tree. Pick your fabric. These are the ones I'm willing to use underneath the Christmas tree, but I think I'm gonna go with the red one. Place a circle in your fabric and cut it out. Make a small circle in the middle and a slot out, coming out of it. And now it was time to sew. The sewing machine is not be behaving as it should. So I turned to good old Aline's flexible fabric glue. Now we can finally slip on this carpet. 
Now our Christmas tree has a lovely mat. Let's add some presents under the tree. How could I forget? We are missing the star. Let's I actually found the star key cliff, which I think will be perfect. And we have a star. Now I was stuck on what to do for the tinsel because I couldn't really think of anything that would be properly realistic. So I thought maybe ribbon because uh, some trees kind of have ribbon wrapped around it. But but then I found this little this in my house and I thought it would be pretty cute. It has some sort of rose design. Now we should wrap it all around. As you can see, I've kind of gone for a red and white theme, but I really like how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed making your DIY tree as much as I did. Now for the best part of this video. Montage time. Merry Christmas everybody and thank you so much for 200 subscribers.